Hey traders, welcome to eTrade Waves weekly forex forecast. Guys, all of you who are new to Ether Waves channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, keep watching till the end to not miss any important trading tip or move, and let's get started. As usual, we will start with Euro Dollar. This is Euro Dollar here for our chart, and we are using TradingView as a charting platform. Those of you who remember, last week we said we are expecting market to push up, regardless of a corrective structure or a drop, we are expecting Euro Dollar to push up, and we've got this up move here. Okay? After this corrective structure, we've got this up wave correction up let me move to the one hour because this will be uh, more clear regarding the structures and let me explain this here it was a downtrend it's a clear downtrend we've got this drop pull back drop pull back drop as well here drop corrective structure this was the last wave within this downtrend okay why this last wave because based on structures based on weighted waves wave answers concept we knew that might will give us one more drop here we're having liquidity under this low and this low. After this drop, we're expecting market to push up, if you remember, okay? And uh, after this up wave, we've got a corrective structure here, up, corrective structure up, corrective structure and up. This was the move that we were expecting, up wave for your dollar under these lows. Those of you who remember that guys, give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Now, uh, those of you who don't remember, you can go to our YouTube channel, by the way, this is our YouTube channel, We Trade Waves, and you can check all these videos. This was the last week's forecast here where we were expecting your dollar to push up. Regardless, we said even if market give us a corrective structure or a drop, the move or the bias is toward the upside. So again, we've made money trading this up wave, guys, and I really hope a lot of you who trade your dollar made money trading this up wave. Now, this was amazing. This was perfect. What's next? I'm expecting market now to give me a corrective structure. One more fall. This is for now. And after this drop, it's a 50-50 probability chance now, what I'll explain after. After the completion of this structure, I'm expecting market to start pushing to the upside again. Okay, so first of all, let's focus on this drop, this corrective structure, and after that, we'll look for our buy setups. Now, before I cover, guys, the next pair, which is pound dollar, let me explain you what you have missed if you are not subscribing to WTW membership. Number one, you missed the Sunday session, which was last Sunday. And during the Sunday session, we cover a lot of things, guys. We cover geopolitics, we cover the fundamental events, we cover all the other charts, and we cover also the trades of the week and the trades of the month. As example, last week, we gave actually Dollar Swiss as trade of the week with uh, some of other pairs as well, but the uh, chart is, uh, or like the trade is still in the making. Dollar Swiss to the downside. If I go to Dollar Swiss here, uh, you will see that market dropped. So this was one of our trades of the week to the downside. Now, the point is, uh, on top of the Sunday session, you have missed actually the daily sessions and you can read here inside the Slack what you are missing uh, inside these daily sessions, okay? So uh, our members guys are meeting on a daily basis during the daily live sessions and the daily live sessions are amazing. At the same time, you have missed the Wednesday update by T and uh, during the Wednesday update also we give uh, trades and we give as well levels. As example, we set Kadian to the upside and if you go to Kadian, you will see that Kadian pushed up. So as example, if I go to this one here, other pairs, uh, if I go to Kadian, which is here, we have given this one to the upside as also a trade. So after the completion of this corrective structure, this up move. So dollar Swiss, Kadian, a lot of updates during the daily session, uh, the daily sessions. And at the same time, I want you to focus on this guys. This guys, by the way, the importance of uh, a community. Okay, so read this one. Uh, stop the video, read this one just to see what you are missing and what our seniors and moderators are doing. At the same time, it's not uh, us making money. You know that we are making money from trading. We have showed you proofs more than one. And those of you who have missed the last video about the proofs, you can go and check this video here on our YouTube channel. 82K Profits Trading Forex. Now, it's not only about us or like the most important part is not us making money because we are making money from trading. It's about our members and uh, our traders making money. So if I go to indices as example, you can see Gerald, he's making money trading at 30 to the downside. This one was one of the trades. And uh, not only him, and other traders, as well, or like other traders as well, taking uh, these trades to the downside. And if you go to Forex, you can see as well Rudra, he made money trading gold to the upside, okay? So uh, our members are making money. And it's not only about them, you can see a lot of other members as well joining them uh, trading this wave, okay? Uh, by the way, this is not only posting, uh, I would say, profits, they are also posting the charts. So if I go to trade setups, 
you can see that Rudra posted this gold chart as well and this gold setup before the move. And Rudra by, Rudra, by the way, is a moderator and he's doing sessions as well every Saturday, okay, internally. So this was the move for gold, drop and up. Once you go to gold, you will see that. Or since I'm here, let me show you the gold move. So this was the gold move, drop and then up again. And most of you know that we were expecting gold to push up from here. And we said we are expecting gold to push up and we are biased to the upside. Back to the slag, this was the setup, by the way, drop and up again. Let me open it for you. Drop and up again. And you can see that Rudra made money trading this one. Uh, if I scroll up, you will see other traders as well making money, scalping these uh, majors, Aussie dollar, Euro dollar. So a lot of our members, guys, are making money. They are succeeding. If you are actually serious about trading and want to jump to the next level, you have only one solution, which is WW membership. So do not waste more, more time and money. Join us, this is where you will learn, and that's the only shortcut for you to succeed in trading, okay? Back to the charts, pound dollar. What's next regarding that? This was the structure, by the way. This was an expanding flat, and we said we are expecting the market to push up, right? So up, corrective structure here, drop, up correction, up correction, and this was a clear uptrend. Every single wave was tradable here, by the way, okay? Now, during the monthly Q&A session that was conducted last Wednesday, and you can find it on the dashboard. We said to our members, guys, from here, we are expecting market to push up to 27 level, 1.27, and this way you can get reaction. So market was here. We've got the sub wave, and then this was the reaction to the downside. Why 27? Everything was explained inside the Q&A session. If you want to get access, this only for WW members, and this is actually where you can get access to the recording. If you go to monthly Q&A session here, you will see that uh, this is the recording archive and this was the latest Q&A session that we have conducted. This was last Wednesday, 21st of February. And we focus on the structures and psychology. And as you can see, this is two hours and 38 minutes session. And by the way, you can get access to all the recordings here in this one. And uh, regarding the weekly sessions, Sunday and Wednesday, this way you can access the recording. This one and this one, the latest recording. And if you go to the daily sessions, this is where you can access the recordings as well of the latest sessions. Why I'm focusing on this one or emphasizing on this one? Because I want you to read this, guys, okay? This is the importance of the daily sessions and what our seniors, what our moderators are covering. This is very, very important, guys, and that's the importance of being with like-minded people, of joining a great trading community. Make sense? So this is how you will accelerate your success in trading. Now, back to the charts. Pound dollar, like I said, in terms of structures, this is an expanding flat here. We've got this up wave, corrective structure here, and this up move. In the middle is an expanding flat as a structure, okay? Now, if you remember from here, we said this is five waves corrective structure. And from here, we said market will be dropping to this buy zone. This is a buy zone, by the way. And then after that, we expect market to react. We've got this up wave, okay? So if you are following us since the past few weeks, you should be able to trade this trap and make money trading a pound dollar. You should be able to trade this up wave and make money and this up wave and make money as well. If you missed this one, this one, this one, during the Q&A session that was conducted again during uh, on Wednesday, 21st of February, you should be able to trade this up wave and make money or trade this down wave, which is the reaction. You get me guys on how many moves you might be missing if you are not subscribing to Weighted Waves? Anyway, if not, we've got this up wave, corrective structure up. What's next? This is a drop and market is correcting. What I'm expecting next for pound dollar is a drop. Okay, first of all, a drop. And then if this will be a complete structure, we'll expect market to push up after. Make sense, guys? This is a 50-50 probability chance for now, the blue route or the blue move or the blue wave. What we'll be focusing on for now is this one, the drop, okay? After this drop, we'll update you. And for now, based on the current market condition, I can see one push up will be coming. But again, this is too early for that, okay? If you remember guys, these forecasts, give us thumbs up and leave a comment. I am personally reading every single comment and I'll try my best to reply to every single comment if possible, okay? This regarding pound dollar. Gold, this was amazing. I really hope guys, all of you trade gold, made money. From here, if you remember, we said drop, Corrective structure drop, up, corrective structure up, and then after that, drop, corrective structure, and drop. Why I'm changing colors here, why I'm doing this uh, uh, analysis for you, because from here, we set to our members, this is guys, double three formation. What is the difference between double three formation and A flat? 
Double tree formation, it will be three, three, and three. So the double tree formation, it's a pattern actually, it's a edit trace pattern. These are the double trees, this one and this one. The middle or like the corrective circle in the middle is just a connection, okay? So the double trees here, since a lot of you are liking and commenting guys, and thank you for all who are liking and commenting and sharing this forecast, that's why we also uh, try to give you more, okay? So in regards to this pattern, which is a double tree formation, we have this one here for gold, and we have this one here. Make sense? So uh, for us, like I said, we knew that market would give us this drop from here. Why is that, Alan? Because like I said, we're expecting market to give us a double three formation. What is the difference between double three formation and a flat formation for Elliott waivers, not for weighted waves, for Elliott waivers? The double three formation and the flats, they look at them in different way. We respect them guys, but for us, we look at charts differently. We have weighted waves, special wave answers concept. Uh, I can give you an example, by the way. Uh, for Elliott waivers, they look at flats at three, three, and five, okay? So we don't have a five wave structure here. If you want to label this as one, two, three, four, five, we do not agree. If you want to label this as one, two, three, four, five, also we do not agree. Again, I'm not here uh, actually saying that Elliott waves is not working. I'm just here to tell you that you need to focus on structures, okay? So uh, if you focus on structures, you'll be able to make money. And we do not focus on labels. We do not focus on one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, W, X, Y, X, Z. Because for us, you, like your main focus should be on structures, on waves, on trends, and on really the charts. Make sense, guys? It's not about actually proving that Elliott waves is working or prove that it's one, two, three, four, five, or or this is the fifth wave or this is the fourth wave. Because if you will focus on that, you will forget that your job is to make money. You get me, guys? So uh, for this one, this is what we can see: drop, corrective structure, drop, up, corrective structure, up, and drop. Corrective structure from here, we knew that market will be dropping to break this low and after this break, market will push back up. And because weighted waves concept is a combination of more than one methodology, this is regarding the smart money concept. If you look left, we have order block, we have five value gap as well. And if you combine this one with our strategies, with weighted waves, special strategies, you will be able to make a lot of money guys trading one wave. Again, any proof for that, Alan? Of course, I just showed you here that Rudra made a lot of money trading uh, actually gold just with this one trade to the upside. And this trade was not from the bottom, by the way, it's from 2020. Why is that? Because here, this was the structure that we we're looking for. Expansion and then up again. As you can see, this is 2020 here. And just imagine if this trade was from here to the upside. I can guarantee you that a lot of our traders took a trade from here to the upside and took a trade from here to the upside as well. You get me guys what you are missing if you are not joining weighted waves? It's just an opportunity for you to learn fast and succeed in a short time. That short time, it's months. It's not just one week, two weeks. You will take more than four, five, six months to master weighted waves, wave answers concept. That's why it's better for you to join now to not actually miss the next move and learn faster. You get me guys? So that's actually regarding gold. And you know that on every Sunday session, we're mentioning guys who are expecting market to push up. Gold will advise to the upside. And on every Wednesday update, buy tea. So anyway, after this drop, corrective structure drop, now we're expecting market to push up. And market is pushing up anyway. Now, those of you are not in, you need to wait for market to give you a corrective structure and then we'll push up. I'm expecting gold guys to keep pushing up to break this top minimum, okay? Why I'm saying minimum? Because this can go up a lot more. Okay, so for gold, I'm still biased to the upside and any buy setup we see after a pullback or after a corrective structure, we will go for it. Now, I don't want you guys to go blindly and start buying on Monday. I want you to focus on your structure, on your setups to actually get into the trade. If you don't have a setup, do not jump in, do not follow anyone blindly, even us. You have to know how much to risk, which strategy to take. That's why also for this one, we said last week we are expecting market to drop. After this drop, we've got a corrective structure, drop, small corrective structure, drop, small corrective structure, drop. So this wave was expected. Again, those of you remember, please guys give us a thumbs up so the other members or the other viewers, they know and give us a comment as well or leave a comment. So after this up wave, we've got a corrective structure up, corrective structure here up, correction up, and then a corrective structure here, which is a regular flat and then up again. After this up wave, market started to pull back or correct. What's next, Alan? We're expecting market to give us a corrective structure, wanna push up, 
and then another drop this what i can see dxy will do next based on the current market condition and based on the current market structure which wave to trade is up to you we'll be focusing on the up wave first and after this up wave we'll look for our sell setups if market gives us the setup for now this was a regular flat by the way in the middle if i need to give you uh, the structures here this was a regular flat and here we're having an expanding flat like this and this one as well so the structure here is an uptrend and this uptrend actually uh, has ended here and after that market started to push down after this drop corrective structure is expected one more fall Aussie dollar for this one this is like all the other majors we're pushing to the upside correction up correction up and then corrective structure up after this up wave market started to pull back what to expect next for this one is a corrective structure one more fall and then up again if we get the structure guys we will be looking for our buy setups for Aussie dollar let's wait for market to finish this corrective structure and then we can look for the buy setups after Dollar Swiss for this one, this was one of our trades of the week and I really hope all of you guys made money trading this drop and this drop. I will not show you the page of the trades of the week because the trades are still in the making. We have trades actually who haven't reached the target yet. So later on, I might show it to you. So Dollar Swiss for this one, we're expecting market to fall and sell was the trade of the week. If you took this sell, perfect, you must have made money. Now what's next after this corrective structure is an up move. We've got this up wave here. And after this up wave, we can expect market to give us a corrective structure and then another push up will be coming. This is the move and this is the wave for dollar Swiss next. Yes, all for this one, those of you who remember, this was the flat in the middle. This was a running flat again, the bigger one. And after this up wave, we've got a corrective structure and then another push up. This was a complete structure, perfect one. And after that, market give us a drop, corrective structure and drop. If market gives us a complete structure to the downside, another up wave will be coming. Okay? So for yes, all, this was the complete uh, downtrend from here, the complete structure. If you want to enable this one, two, one, two, three, four, five, go for it. I don't mind. And these are the corrective structures in the middle. After that, we've got this up wave here. Correction up. Now, if we get a corrective structure again, we'll go for the next buy setup here for yes, all. The details for these structures, guys, for these waves were covered during our uh, last Saturday session. You go, you go to our YouTube channel here, this one, and you can watch it. Inside this one, we covered in detail the step-by-step, -step, wave by wave for yes oil. Next, corrective structure is expected for another up wave. Door cat for this one, market was moving to the downside. We've got a corrective structure drop, and then market is pushing up. What's next? I'm expecting now dollar cat to push up because this is a complete structure to me. And if I need to show you the structures here, this is a potential complete regular flat. And uh, also this one is a complete regular flat for now. Okay. So this is a regular flat. We've got this up wave, corrective structure up, corrective structure up, and then corrective structure. I'm expecting our market to push up again and potentially break this up. If I need to take any trade for dollar cat, I'm looking for the buy setups only. If you want to wait for this up wave, you go for it. But for us, we'll be, we'll be looking for the buy setups for dollar cat. And anytime market will give us a buy, we'll go for it. Dorian, for this one, I want you guys to focus on this because anytime market can start to fall. And this drop, it will be potentially after this break. So one more break of this high. Uh, let market touch 151. And then after that, we'll expect market to give us a big drop. All the yen pairs, guys, I can see them pushing up once more before the next fall. This fall is what we'll be focusing on. This drop, this sell setup. Any up wave, any buy setup from the current level, we will ignore. Okay? So if we would get a buy setup here, if you want to scalp it, it's up to you. For us, we will ignore it. Because here, after this up wave, we've got a five waves here. Corrective structure. And then after that, market push to the upside, pull back, up. And now this is a potential corrective structure. It can extend, of course. So we can get one more drop and then up again before the drop. In all the cases, I'll be focusing on the sell setup for dollar yen. And the sell setup, it will be ideal if market will go up and break this top before the drop. Okay? So for us, we'll wait for market to break this top and then we'll look for our sell setups for dollar yen. And it's not dollar yen only, it's all the amperes, by the way.
The levels guys, will this be one of our trades of the week or not, will be mentioned by T during the Sunday session that will be started tomorrow at 12 p.m. UK time. Bitcoin for this one, this was crazy, amazing, crazy accuracy. Like we said, we're expecting market to drop even after ETF approval. So everything is explained anyway in the previous videos. From this level, exact this level, this was the buy zone. Market started to push up and we've got reaction. Corrective structure up, corrective structure and looks like market will push to the upside once more. Now, those of you guys who missed this up wave and you are wondering like, Alan, will market pull back or will we get a corrective structure before the next up wave? Guys, you need to watch the Q&A session recording that we have conducted last Wednesday we explained exactly how to invest in this one, how to treat each wave and where's the next opportunity for Bitcoin. Because in this one, if you want to buy from me, invest from me and you put stop loss at zero, or like it's, it's uh, without leverage, you would just buy Bitcoin. This is not a wise idea or this is not, I would say the best uh, ROI to get if you will invest from here. But again, in the Q&A session, we explain in detail how to invest in Bitcoin if you'd like to do that, what to wait for and what to look for in terms of structures, in terms of the levels and everything in detail, like I said. So if you are really interested in investing in Bitcoin, guys, you have to watch the Q&A session. It's inside the W members dashboard. And uh, it was again, one of the best Q&A sessions that we have ever made. Anyway, for this one, what's next? One to push up and then market to give us a corrective structure. Okay, so one to push up for Bitcoin and then wait for market to give you a corrective structure before you look for the next buy setup. For me personally, I'll be waiting for this one. If I'm not in, we're already actually trading Bitcoin, we're already investing in Bitcoin. But those of you who are not in, if I'm not in, I'll wait for market to give me a corrective structure here before the next up wave, okay? Uh, buying from current levels is not a wise idea. It's better to wait for market to give you a corrective structure because market will correct. This is a high probability chance move for a, a down wave corrective structure before the next up move, all right? Pound yen for this one, do not miss guys the next drop. We've got this corrective structure, this up wave, and as you know, I'm expecting market to drop here. And this drop, it will be more than 1000 pips move, okay? 1000 pips guys is a lot. But again, do not jump in, do not trade without stop loss or over risk or over trade. This the wave guys is uh, almost completed to the upside for us. And uh, every new top is the potential last top and market broke this top twice. I'll explain why shortly. Any new high here, we, it will be the potential last high in lower time frames, And after that, I'm expecting market to give me a big drop. This is the daily chart. If I go to the one hour now, I'll show you one thing here. This structure is almost complete, okay? So after this top, market broke this top one, two, and if we get one more push up, it's okay. After this up wave, market will be falling. This is guys, a high probability chance move. And this wave, it will be a thousand pips move. Do not miss it. We are actually keeping an eye on this one and we'll trade every sell setup that we got. Again, I'm warning you in advance, guys, do not over risk, do not, do not over trade and do not trade without stop loss, okay? Because who knows, we might be wrong here and market might push up 1000 pips from the current levels. I'm not expecting that. This is a 10% chance for me. This is now the wave that I'm focusing on. The sell setup, the down wave, okay? And like I'm saying, this is 1000 pips move we are looking for. Imagine trading this thousand pips move and know how to trade it by risking just 1% for let's say 50 pips to gain thousand pips. Now, I hope guys you are understanding what we will be teaching you once you join us. We'll be teaching you how to make money, how to make big risk to reward by just risking small and risking one to 2% of your account maximum, all right? So if you really want to learn that and to not miss this down wave, join us to learn and join us to get the updates as well on a daily basis when this will be ready and how to ride this wave, how to trade this move and how to maximize profits. Your New Zealand for this one, I'm still expecting market to push up. Nothing has changed here. This wave is getting extended, which is normal, which is fine. Even if this will give me one more drop up again and then a drop, this up wave will be coming. For me, your New Zealand is a buy and this is a complete five wave structure to the downside. Uh, these are the waves, by the way, drop, corrective structure drop, Reactive structure and drop. This wave will be coming either from current levels, which is, uh, I would say, will be uh, even better if we get one more drop and up again. Even if this will be going down to break this low, guys, to take liquidity, it's all right. We'll go for the buy setups under this low. 
In all the cases, or what I'm trying to say, for you, New Zealand, we are expecting market to push up and we'll look for our buy setups only. Yeah, 30, from here, we're saying during the Sunday sessions that guys, 39K is the level, right? All we tell you, you should remember that, and even you guys who are following us on YouTube and on TradingView, you should remember that we said 39K level way before, so from here. Up, corrective structure up, corrective structure up. Even if we've got this drop, we said, guys, wait, because market might push up to break this up once more. We've got this up wave, we've got a corrective structure. This was a confirmation that market will push up and it will give us one more high. We've got this up wave. Again, some of our traders, they were waiting for this 39.2, 39.5. Again, these levels were mentioned by T initially during the Sunday sessions. Weighted waves, if you remember this one, if you remember this level, guys, and remember T what was saying during the Sunday sessions, please leave a comment, let the viewers know and remember that as well, okay? So, we've got this up wave, it was perfect. Some of our traders, they started to sell. Like I said, I showed you Gerald and a lot of our members are in the sell for now. If Mark will give us a corrective structure here, again, one push up will be coming. Alan, you are still keep saying one push up, one push up, till one. Guys, we are following the structures wave by wave, week by week. I know like you might hate me if you are in the cell that, oh my God, I don't want this up wave. But trust me, I'm not controlling the market, guys, okay? I'm just helping you to read the charts and helping you with the next bias, okay? So for this one, corrective structure, one push up, even I don't want that, but based on this structure, based on uh, the waves, we can still see market pushing up once more. This is not needed for the structure, so which means market can fall from here all the way to the downside. Now, to give you a hint, anytime market can start to fall, I'm not saying that to protect myself. I'm saying that just to give you a hint that you can keep looking for sell setups as long as you are getting these sell setups, okay? And this sell setup here, it will be huge, it will be big because UR30 is about to give us a big drop very soon. And I don't want you to miss this drop like the young peers, okay? So a lot of opportunities, guys, a lot of moves, a lot of setups are in the making and market will be giving us huge moves and big moves very soon. To not miss these moves, you have to join us, guys, for the Sunday sessions, Wednesday update and the daily sessions as well. How to get access? You can go to our website. These are the features, by the way. Go to website, www.weetedwaves.com, www.weetedwaves.com to know all the details and get the access. With that note, guys, I wish you a successful trading week. You trade with care and see all of you next Saturday. Thank you very much.